So hello Cyberland. My name's Marlin. The channel is Old Fart Hacks, and this is a continuation of the teardown of the second one of these Chinese water torture XY cables that I just I'm trying to put one get a good one of. Um, I sent the first one back because it was just too horrible. This one's somewhat better. I mean, the problem's still, you know, it's still got some problems, like it tends to rust on these rings because of the friction element they tend to use, which is tape, which is hydroscopic as all heck. But anyway, we're continuing the teardown from where we took off. I just pulled the, or the handle and the bearing set out on this side. So let's go on ahead. The gives on this are loose. And of course, to break this down from here, you take these two nuts out, hex nuts, hex head nuts, whatever you want to call them, thingy bobbies. And these come out through the front, of course, dropping the drive screw on the table. Such fun, eh? Such fun. And back here we'll find, of course, the bearing set for the other end of the screw. If you notice, the screw fell out. See, I don't know if you saw it happen. Actually, I didn't even know it was going to do that. Because I've never taken one this far apart. I gave up on the first one sooner than this. Anyway, the screw fell out, but we can take the slide off to the rear. And then here we have the screw and nut assembly. And again, the nut, of course, is eh, rough. A piece of junk. Okay. The gibbs on this, I'm sure, like the other stage. This is the gib. The working side is rusty and pity and rough and nasty and gritty. You. So gritty. So icky. So icky bobo, too. But anyway... Yeah, just not good. Okay, and looking at the underside here, we've got overspray galore, the traditional shaving edges, all that nasty stuff. The gib is picked up by this one screw here. The other two just provide pressure. And yeah, it's a lump of iron. It's the right shape, at least. And then we're down to the base. And again, sharp edges everywhere. Paint everywhere. Let's see, the gibbs are going to... Yeah, this is actually the bearing surface here on this one. It is cute that they put a little scale, and I guess this is in uh, millimeters. So you can do your precision reading right here with the non-vernier, uh, sort of, uh, we think it's accurate scale. Anyway, so, this is actually going to be one of the shorter videos in the series because I just wanted to get you down to the stage right here and see what was down here. There's a lot of filing and smoothing and such coming my way. At least they broke the edges here. How nice of them. Not a bad casting. There will be a lot of paint removed. There will be a lot of everything. I may even clean the surface up a little bit to make sure the screw is running square. I don't know how important that's going to be. Got to not lose the little uh, wood of keys. I don't want to have to make new ones. So. As I said, this is going to be a pretty short video. What's going to happen next? And I'll film chunks of it and then put the montage together because you don't want to watch, sit here and watch me sanding and filing and scraping and whacking and saying not polite words, words that should not be issued in the non or in the uh, overall environment because they're not polite. And we'll see where we go with this. I am going to be keeping this one. It's adequate. So, anyway, if you find these videos amusing or helpful or 
you find me just silly and you like laughing at me, why don't you go ahead and subscribe or at least push the like button and perhaps consider subscribing. As I said, the channel is Old Fart Hacks. My name is Marlon, and that's all I'm going to do, do to you for right now. More on this thing later. It's one of the many projects I've got going on along with that running board project. I finally got my tool holder down on the lathe. I finally got the lathe tailstock right. But there's so much more to go. Anyway, yeah, soon this will be mounted up on. Let me make you guys sick with a quick... Ah, eh, should I even do that? Nah. There's a little, one of those little central, century machine, machinery drill presses off here on my left that this will end up on. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Gals. Everyone. Have fun. And remember, don't get caught.